Hello, my dear students. Welcome to the VHDL and Verilog series. Okay. So, in this session, we are going to study the if statements available in the VHDL. Okay. Let us hope that all of you are enjoying this VHDL and Verilog video series. Okay. So, first, let us study the what are the conditional statements. What are the conditional statements? So, here till now what we study, the sequential statements available in the VHDL. Actually, this if statement is also a sequential statement, but depends on the conditions, it is going to execute the set of the sequential statements. Okay, depends on the conditions, it is going to execute the set of sequential statement so that is why it is called a sequential conditional statement okay so actually what happens uh, in some situations depends on the conditions we want to execute the some set of the equations then what happens we are going to use the conditional statements in the VHDL there are the two types of the conditional statements are there that is sequential conditional statement and the concurrent conditional statements okay so, the same thing I have showed in the form of the pictorial representation. What is this explaining means? This is the condition and afterwards what happens? If this condition is true, means what happens? It is going to execute the true block statements. If this condition is false, means what happens? It is going to execute the false block statement. Okay. So, here what I told here in the VHDL, there are the two types of the conditional statements are there. They are sequential conditional statements and the concurrent conditional statements. Okay. What are the sequential conditional statements means? The statements if you are using in the process and the subprogram, then they are called the sequential conditional statements. And if you are using the conditional statements in the architecture part, that is begin and end of the architecture if you are using the any conditional statement then they are called the concurrent conditional statements okay let us study one by one uh, if statements okay so first actually what happens what is the if statements means so if statement till now it is a one uh, sequential conditional statements okay depends on the conditions here the set of the uh, Sequence statements are going to be executed. Okay. If the condition is true, the one set of the uh, statements are executed. If the condition is false, means another set of the statements are going to be executed. Okay. Next. So, here actually what happens? In many ways, we are using the if statement. So, in this commonly using the if statement is simple if statement is there, if else is there, else if ladder is there, nested else if ladder is there. Okay, let us study one by one. So, in the next PPTs, what I have next, what I have explained means, in the left side, I have written the general syntax, in the right side, the example. Okay. Here, this is the general syntax for the simple if. In the simple if, what happens? If condition, next, if condition, then sequential statements and the end if. Okay, now, and uh, the same example. If what is the condition is here? X is greater than 10. If this condition is true, means here it is going to execute this one. That is A, variable assignment statement equal to B end if okay so here if this condition is true means this is going to execute and it stops the execution of the if statement okay if the condition is false means what happens then it is not going to execute this sequential statement just your control goes directly from this to after the end if statement Okay, after the end if statement. So, the next statement is the else if statement. Actually, here this is the general syntax for the else if statement. Only one difference 
with the if the statement is the else block is not there in the previous statement here the else block is there okay this set of sequential statements whatever we are writing now it is called the block okay here question if other things are the same if condition if condition then sequential statement else sequential statements and the end if here you see the example a is greater than b then vl underscore out is equal to a else vl underscore out is equal to b in the previous example what happens there is no block this no else block is present so that is why that is called a simple if statement and this is called a if else statement okay if this condition is true means what happens if and this condition is true means this set of statements are going to execute it if the condition is false means what happens this set of sequential statements are going to execute it let us see this example if you think that a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 3 so 5 is greater than 3 is the condition is true or false it is true then which statements are going to execute it this statements are going to execute it okay and then what is the value is going to print here 5 so what about these statements these statements are not going to execute it after executing this uh, statement your control jumps to the after the end if statement okay after the end if whatever the um, sequential statements are there they are going to execute it this is not going to execute it okay similarly let us take 7 is greater than 10 what happens 7 is greater than 10 condition is false then these statements are not going to execute it this statement are going to execute it okay afterwards the end if your control after executing this your control comes to the end if and afterward the next statement are going to execute it okay next is the else if ladder so in the if else statement what happens so we are checking only the one condition that is true or false but here what happens in this if conditions are in some situations we want to compare more than one condition then we are going to use the else if ladder more than one conditions that means if condition then sequential statement if this condition is true means this set of the sequential statements are going to execute it okay and next what happens else if condition then and next this sequential statements next else and the sequential statement that means what means here if and the condition if this condition is true means this set of the sequential statements are going to execute it if this is false means what happens here another condition is there it is going to check this condition if this is true means it is going to execute this set of equations okay otherwise what happens it is going to execute this set of the equations okay and this is called what else if class this is called the else if clause you can write any number of else if class in the else if ladder okay any number of classes you can write in the else if ladder and but the finally you should write the else statement okay finally else and the sequential statement and end if okay let us study the working here first it checks this first condition if this condition is true means what happens this sequential statements are executed next sequence afterwards what happens if this is true this set of sequential statements are executed and next these all 
pull is not going to execute it and it comes to the end if and stops the program. Okay, but now think that if this condition is false. If this condition is false means what happens? Is this is going to execute these sequential statements? No. It is going to check the next else if. So if this condition is true means what happens? These set of the statements are going to execute it. Okay. And this is not going to execute it. Your control comes from this sequential statement to the end if. Okay. And uh, next what happens you think that this condition is also false. This condition is also false. Then these sequential statements are not going to execute. These statements are not going to execute. Finally what is going to execute? These else sequential statements are going to execute it. That means if all the conditions are false then these sequential statements are going to executed. Finally the end. Let us hope all of you understood the working of else if ladder. Okay. Let us study the example here. Okay. Here I have same example. That means here I am I try to write the example the same for the syntax. How the syntax is there? In the same way I try to write the example so that it is very easy to understand for you people. Okay. If day is equal to Sunday, then weekend is equal to true. Okay. Else if day is equal to Saturday, then weekend is also equal to true. Else weekday is equal to true. End. Correct. Just you think that. So I have read the day as the Sunday. Then this condition is true. So, in the according to the first what I have, if the condition is true means this is going to execute. Correct? That means weekend is equal to true is going to execute it. And afterwards where your control jumps? Your control jumps to directly the end if. It, it ends the if statement. Correct? That means it is not going to execute this else if and the else clause. Okay, and you think that if our day is equal to Monday, then what happens? This condition is true, false, false. Then if it is false means it is going to check the next condition. What is the next condition? If day, what we have studied the day, day is equal to Monday. Then is the day is equal to Saturday? This condition is also false. Then so, if both the conditions are false means it is going to execute this and it is printed as weekday is equal to true. Okay. And next what happens? Let us see the another one type of the example. That is if I have uh, read the day is equal to Saturday. Then what happens? Saturday is equal to Sunday. Condition is false. These statements are not going to execute it. But it next checks the next year safety. Here Saturday is equal to Saturday. Then what happens? This weekday is equal to true is going to execute it. Correct? And next is this is going to execute it? No, it is not going to execute it. Directly your control go com comes to the end if and it uh, stops the execution of the end if statement and executes the next statement. Okay? <laughs> next is the Nested DLC ladder. What do you mean by nested DLC ladder means? So till now we have studied the, we have checked only the one condition at a time. Okay. If, if that condition is true means some set of, some set of the statements are going to execute it. If that condition is false means another set of the statements are going to execute it. But in some situations what happens, we want to check the two conditions. If the two conditions are satisfied, then we want to execute the one set of the statements. Otherwise, we want to 
if any one condition is false means we want to execute the another set of the sequences then that type of the problems we have to we are going to use the nested else if statement okay so here you see the syntax so here what i told if condition then if condition then actually what happens if you want you can increase this conditions okay any number of conditions you can check depends on our applications presently i have wrote the two condition so my intention is if the two conditions are true then i want to execute this set of the sequence statements okay and if in this any one condition is false means it is not going to execute this set say this sequential statement it is going to execute this sequential statements okay finally the end if so in the same way here i have written the example also if control 1 is a one variable is equal to 1 and control 2 is equal to 0 then max output is equal to 0 0 0 else max output is equal to 0 0 1 and the end if okay so nested if is nothing but one if statement is used in another if statement is nothing but what the nested if else statement okay so till now what we studied are the different types of the if statement or we can say that how we are going to how can you are going to use the if statements in the VHDL okay so you have I think you have observed in the PPTs that some bold letters are there and some common letters are there so what I did means so I make the bold because the all the bold letters are going to represent the keywords okay all the bold letters are going to represent the keywords and the another one important thing here all are doing is end if and another one thing is else if is also there so you have to write the spelling for else if is e l s i f don't write as e l s e i f okay and similarly end if is also the same thing okay end if is also the same thing here these are the some common mistakes we are doing so that i have written here okay so please go through the slides again you have any doubts put it in the description box okay and uh, so try to study the working of the multiplexer and try to write the program using the if statement okay thank you